So in today's uh, lecture of integral equation, I am going to teach you a method of converting initial value problem into order integral equation. That is y double dash plus y is equal to 0 where the conditions are given as y of 0 is equal to y dash of 0 is equal to 0. So for y of 0 is it is 0 and y dash of 0 is also equal to 0. Now let me start with it. Now first in basics are important. Okay. So converse, uh, conversion of ordinary differential equation. This is ordinary differential equation into integral equation. Okay. Now we, uh, basically what we have to do in the problems. We have to convert ordinary differential equation into integral equations. Right. Now this is what initial value problem. Now this is our, this ordinary differential equation are of two types. One is initial value problem and so it is divided into two types so initial value problem and boundary value problem right now here y of 0 is equal to 0 y dash of 0 is equal to 0 the points inside are same for this one okay and for this one y of 0 is equal to 0 y of 1 is equal to 0 but the points are different over here okay here it is 0 here it is 1 so this part i let me do it on the next page as well so this part I've already explained to you all. Now this is like uh, in general how you all are going to write this as y of a is equal to y naught and y dash of a is equal to y naught uh, dash. Okay. Now y of a is equal to y naught and here the condition the points are different right a and b. But this is uh, okay y dash of b is equal to y naught uh, y naught of dash. Okay. Any value it can be. So now Volterra integral uh, now this is what. Volterra integral equation and for this it is Predlom integral equation. Now for initial value problem uh, it is initial value uh, integral uh, initial value problem uh, been converted. We are converting initial value problem into Volterra integral equation and uh, we are converting uh, boundary value problem into Volterra integral equation uh, in, into sorry Predlom integral equation. Okay. So remember these two things and then let me start with the problem. So I will be now converting. This is the method of converting initial value problem into Volterra integral equation. Okay. So uh, this is y double dash plus y is equal to 0 and y of 0 is equal to y dash of 0 is equal to 0. So for this and this, this is nothing but initial value problem. Okay. Which I have already explained to you all now. Now this is given right just write it as it is and then uh, this is a second derivative right now y double dash is equal to minus y if you take this this is positive y if you take it to the other side it will become minus y and take this as one the, now what you'll have to do is you'll have to integrate both the side of this equation one okay next is what you'll have to do integral from 0 to x y double dash d of x so I've, I'm applying the integral from 0 to x with respect to x right so so this is equal to minus integral from 0 to x y dx now this y i can write it as y of x as well okay so now what you all do is now this is nothing but what what is the derivative uh, second derivative integral of this second derivative is nothing but first derivative it is converted into first derivative so write down y dash of x now you'll have to do upper limit minus the lower limit for this one okay and now this is equal to what minus integral from 0 to x this i'm writing it has y of x dx okay now next is what do upper limit minus the lower limit so y dash of x minus y dash of 0 is equal to now this write it as it is minus integral from 0 to x y of x dx okay next is what yeah now y dash of x why uh, what is minus uh, okay fine what is y dash of 0 what are the conditions which is given y dash of 0 is nothing but equal to 0 over here see so that's why now what will remain is it is like this y dash of x minus 0 is equal to minus integral from 0 to x y of x dx right now let me turn the page so what will remain is y dash of x is equal to now this part you will write it as it is minus integral from 0 to x y of x d of x and take this as 2 okay. Now 
so now what you'll have to do is again integrate both the side of uh, of equation to okay now again i have to integrate with respect to x from 0 to x okay so 0 to x y dash of x dx is equal to minus integral from 0 to x integral from 0 to x y of x dx the whole square okay because i have integrated it twice so it will be dx the whole square now this is equal to what now what is the di uh, first derivative or uh, integral of the first derivative is nothing but y of x okay so then upper limit minus the lower limit 0 to x okay and 0 uh, is equal to minus integral from 0 to x 0 to x now i have just changed the variable like it was x no i made it t okay or just to say put x is equal to t so y of t is equal to dt the whole square okay i just replace it by t that x i have replaced it by t okay that's it and now this upper limit minus the lower limit let us do y of x minus y of 0 this into the minus this is equal to minus and now this uh, integral sign when i applying to this function what i'm going to get is nothing but x minus t the whole uh, upon t my uh, 2 minus t, uh, 1 upon it's like n minus 1 upon n minus 1 that you'll have to know the formula properly so upon 2 minus 1 y of t dt now this is equal to nothing but y of x is equal to minus integral from 0 to x x minus t y of t dt because 2 minus 1 is 1 and this is also 1 so what will remain minus integral from x minus t y of t dt will remain and one more thing uh, i think i have made a slight mistake over here just put that integral sign over here okay 0 to x okay yeah so just uh, put this properly okay uh, mine is not proper 0 to x it is okay so slight just put the integral over here then y of x will remain now what is y of 0 from that condition what was there y of 0 is also equal to 0 so what i'm going to get is so this is what y of x minus 0 right so what will remain that you will write down y of x is equal to minus integral from 0 to x this is nothing but x minus t y of t dt now i will just remove this minus sign for that what i need to do is i will just make this as y of x is equal to 0 to x this i have removed the minus sign so it y because it will become t minus x y of t dt okay because of this and now y of x is equal to integral from 0 to x this i am writing here it has kernel of x comma uh, k of x comma t y of t dt and this is uh, where this kernel is nothing but t minus x okay so i have just uh, placed k of x comma t means by this okay so anyways uh, with this i am done with today's uh, lecture and in the next lecture i will be doing one more problem on this uh, i will be converting initial value problem into Voltaire integral equation and so next so my next problem is like it will be like this way y double dash plus lambda x y is equal to f of x okay this i will be proving in the next lecture and if you all have not understood any of the concept you all can comment below and thanks for watching